When the narcissist realizes they're losing their best thing, you. Hey there, survivors. Walking away from a narcissist is like toppling a throne from under an entitled ruler. You see, these self-appointed royals have crafted an elaborate facade of superiority, basking in the illusion that they deserve everything without giving anything in return. But when you remove yourself from their kingdom, you don't just cut off their supply, you shatter their entire fantasy world. Now, as you embark on your journey to freedom, let's take a peek behind the narcissist's curtain and uncover what happens when they realize they've lost you. But before we dive in, if you're ready to reclaim your power and break free from the chains of narcissistic manipulation, show your support by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel for more empowering content, sharing this video with others who may benefit, and dropping your insights in the comments below. Your engagement fuels our mission to shine a light on narcissistic abuse and empower survivors like you. Now let's unveil the truth about what happens when the narcissist knows they've lost you. It's time to reclaim your throne and embrace your freedom. Let's get started. Let's break down what happens when you first walk away from a narcissist. It's like pulling the rug out from under their big ego. They never thought you'd survive without them. In their twisted version of reality, you were lucky to have them, even though they were abusive and selfish, but they can't face the truth that they're not as special as they think. So, they deny it. They might ignore you, hoping you'll come back begging. Or they'll poke around on social media or ask about you through friends, just to remind you they're still there. If waiting around doesn't work for them, they might step up their game and try to win you back. But it's not because they miss you. Narcissists can't stand losing control, so they'll do whatever it takes to reel you back in. They'll promise the world, swear they've changed, maybe even propose or promise you everything you've ever wanted. But it's all a show. They'll throw around grand gestures and expensive gifts just to manipulate you into coming back. These relationships follow a pattern, and this phase is all about them trying to trap you again. As they realize they're really losing you, they start playing the blame game. They rewrite history, painting themselves as the victim and you as the villain. They'll twist everything to make you look like the bad guy, even though they're the ones who hurt you. But don't fall for it. Stay true to yourself and let their false image crumble. One person who dealt with this turned the tables on the narcissist in a pretty epic way, showing that sometimes karma does come around. After you've left a narcissist, there's something you might see happening next, and it can happen pretty quickly, even just hours after you've walked away. Can you guess what it is? It's when they find a new source of attention, what we call new supply. But I save talking about this for now because I want to focus on when the narcissist starts showing off this new supply. They usually don't do this until they're sure you're serious about leaving them. See, narcissists can't go without attention for long. So, why flaunt it? Well, it's all about trying to get a reaction from you. If they can make you jealous or upset, it means they're still pulling your emotional strings and they're still in control. Now, let me share a comment that sheds light on something we don't often hear about, the reality of the new supply. This commenter says, My ex-narc has a new partner of four months. After intense love bombing, the fantasy bubble has burst, and he's already bad-mouthing her to his friends and family. He even went on vacation without her and hooked up with someone else. Now he's trying to suck her back in, keeping her around until he finds someone better. So, that comment sums up a lot, doesn't it? It's refreshing to hear someone see through the facade. It's easy to think you're the problem, but seeing things like this can be validating. If you've had a similar experience, share it with us in the comments. Now let's talk about something rare in the world of narcissists, self-reflection. It sounds unlikely, but it can happen, especially with covert narcissists. They're more prone to depression than the grandiose ones, so when they're feeling low, they might catch a glimpse of the truth. But don't hold your breath. They quickly snap back to their old ways. They might become even more manipulative or rush into a new relationship to prove they're still royalty. Here's a comment from someone who gets it. I've been no contact for 14 months, and it's sad to see her so miserable. I pray for her. Some now you might think it's all over, but for some, it's not. In a desperate attempt to maintain their image, a narcissist might launch a smear campaign against you. It's proof they're hurt by your leaving. It can be infuriating, but it's almost flattering that they're going to such lengths. They'll spread lies about you to anyone who will listen, family, friends, employers. 
But remember, truth prevails in the end. The hardest part is when people believe their lies and become what we call flying monkeys, doing the narcissist's bidding willingly. It's painful to see, but as one said, it's better to know who's really on your side. Another advises, walk away, no matter the relationship. It's tough, but it's necessary. Before we wrap up, I want to emphasize that walking away may not be the best or feasible option for everyone. However, if you can go no contact, it's often the quickest path to finding peace after dealing with a narcissistic relationship, especially when things escalate to this level. If you're currently facing a smear campaign, make sure to watch the video that just popped up on the screen where I discuss some of the most effective strategies to navigate through it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button before you go. Your support means the world to us. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more valuable insights and tips on handling narcissistic relationships. And remember to share this video with anyone who might benefit from it. For additional resources and personalized support, check out the link in the description for our free book and information on one-on-one -on -one consultations. Your journey to healing and peace is important, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.